Hey guys, I uh, wanted to make a video updating you on uh, what I've been doing lately, and um, so here that video is, and um, what you see, and I'm here in a Autodesk Inventor Fusion, great software, I'll link it below, um, but what you're looking at here is um, the files from the OSVR project, and if you don't know what that is, it was just announced at a CES 2015, just like a week or two ago. Uh, by Razer. Uh, they make gaming peripherals and stuff, but um, they uh, unveiled um, the OSVR project, which uh, stands for Open Source Virtual Reality. So kind of like um, the Oculus Rift or uh, the True Player or whatever that headset's called these days. Um, I know it has a different name, but basically what the project is is going to be a fully open source open standards um virtual reality development platform and um one of the things they uh, advertised with that is that um it'll be you'll be able to 3d print like the files for um the like frame and stuff and those are the files i have right here and as soon as I heard like, whoa, you're going to be able to 3D print all the f like a lot of the uh, structure for it and stuff, I got really excited and wanted to be uh, one of the first people to check out those files. So I got those files and um, I have them loaded into this software, as I said, um, Autodesk Inventor Fusion. And um, these uh, don't look the most easily printable, at least for FDM printers. And considering they're tar targeting this on like hackers and hobbyists and the maker community who typically mostly has access to just plain FDM printers these don't look too easily printable like it looks like they just took the files for their manufacturing process and just posted those didn't really think about if it would actually be printable or not and um so <laughs> that's a uh, kind of a weird choice by their part because unless you have a uh, selective laser centering printer you're probably not going to have a easy time printing these parts so um what i think i'll be doing is uh maybe modifying these parts a bit or um and just trying to get them so it's possible to print them with um standard fdm printers now, these small parts up here, they're like braces and stuff, they'll be able, they'll probably be able to be printable at like a fine resolution. But for example, like this piece right here, you are like not going to be able to easily print that. If it's on the other side, it's way too much of an overhang. Same if it's standing up like this. And so um, maybe I'll like go into NetFab, cut some of the parts in half or something so it has a nice flat surface to print on. Um, I, yeah, like for example, this part too. Um, if I can get to it, sorry. What is it doing? Ah, there we go. So this part has lots of overhangs lots of fine details and parts where the other pieces of this clip in like this spot right here also like uh, screw terminals and stuff uh, has a lot of those and thing is this won't be easily printable so it'll have to be cut and modified in order to actually work as a um, way of uh, of developing the OSVR project. I, uh, even though this uh, might be kind of discouraging that they advertise, oh, you can 3D print all the files and stuff, yet at the same time, <laughs> you're not going to have a fun time doing it. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be working on that pretty soon, um, and um, I'll uh, keep you updated on that. So, uh, thanks for watching. I will. Uh, link the OSVR project and Autodesk Inventor Fusion uh, all in the description along with my uh, Thingiverse and Umagine accounts. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, have a great day.